Hi, welcome back to educator.com. This is Lab Investigation 4, DNA Extraction Lab. So a little introduction to this DNA lab, we've got to talk about the purpose. The purpose is, probably obvious, to extract DNA from living human cells. Now that might seem like, whoa, hey, hey, isn't that going to be painful? No, it's, it's a harmless thing. So we're going to do it harmlessly. You can get it from epithelial cells, cells that easily come off uh, from the inside of your mouth, from the inside of your cheeks. Uh, they come off as you're talking, uh, as you're chewing, as you know, you're, you're sucking on a hard candy or whatever. Uh, you actually replace a lot of these cells consistently, um, and it's very, very harmless to do this. So the materials you need, five milliliters of a sports beverage, something like Gatorade or Powerade, uh, that's not much. In terms of exactly how much you're going to put in your mouth, uh, really, you only need about two milliliters, which is hardly anything, and you're not going to swallow it. Uh, three milliliters of cell lysate solution meant to uh, burst open plasma membranes and nuclear envelopes, the membrane uh, of the nucleus. 10 milliliters of very cold ethanol. I'd recommend freezing it, putting it in the freezer. Now, the actual alcohol will not freeze. You would need a colder temperature to get solid uh, ethanol, uh, but it will be very, very cold which will maximize the effectiveness of this particular lab. Uh, a small cup, uh, even like a little cup that uh, a child would take liquid medicine with, um, you know, one of those medicine cups like that is big enough. Uh, a large test tube and a cap, you do need a cap or um, stopper on it because you're going to be inverting it and flipping it around. Test tube rack to keep the, the test tube upright and two pipettes. Uh, one for um, putting in the cell lysate solution and one for the ethanol. And here's an illustration of lovely DNA, which we will be extracting and getting to uh, become visible uh, so that we can actually see DNA. And the time required, about 30 minutes will suffice. Part one, you're going to pour one to two milliliters of that sports drink into the small cup, drink the liquid like you're taking a shot of it, but do not swallow it. You're going to Swish it around in your mouth for 30 seconds. And as you're doing it, you can use your teeth to help dislodge cells, meaning see what I'm doing? I'm kind of using my teeth to gently kind of bite on the sides of my cheeks. Don't actually bite. Don't draw blood. We do not need blood for this lab. Um, just, you know, kind of gently scrape your teeth against the cheeks, that'll get more of those epithelial cells from the inside of your mouth uh, to get into that, you know, sports drink solution. When time expires, when about 30 seconds has, you know, come to pass, spit out the liquid at this point, slash saliva, into the cup, and then dump the contents into the test tube. So here's a little uh, test tube rack with two test tubes. You really only need one test tube for this. Um, as long as it's one of the ones that's about uh, that big, that will suffice. So after uh, it's been sitting there for a little while, you know, that combination of sports drink and saliva, you're going to add the cell lysate solution. Like I said earlier, this is meant to rupture or break apart the plasma membrane and the nuclear envelope. So that way the DNA leaks out of the cells. Now, you spit out thousands and thousands of cells. And the great thing is when all that DNA leaks out, you'll have enough genetic material. Uh, and at this point, you just need to get it out of that solution into a more clear solution and get it to all clumped together. And that's the next part of it. Uh, but to make sure that that cell lysate solution is actually spread throughout all those cells, it's going to be really important to cap the test tube and invert it like this five times uh, to mix it. And then let it sit for two to three minutes. Let that DNA leak out. Let it sit. 